Welcome back to the show, everybody. I got something a little special for y'all. I got I got I got a little hit for y'all, you know what I mean? Because I feel that it is my due diligence sometimes to while reporting the news and letting y'all know how I feel is important. Letting you guys know how I feel about things that excite me because this is my story is equally important. And on April Fools, something caught my eye and I was like, wow, for real? Like they really went all out on this April Fool thing. Suck, that's not gonna be a thing. Well, I found out earlier it's a thing. M2 is is going to finna do their own original shooter based off some throwback stuff that they had in a closet somewhere in their offices from 30 years ago. Mononoke Nimpocho is M2's shmup as part of their Japanese shmup revival project. I sit here and think about that as a phrase, and it's like, well, bringing the shmup back when it ain't technically went nowhere. Like, if you want a shmup, you can go on Steam, and there are millions of them in varying different degrees and different ways. Whether you want to play some Volt Revolver, whether you want to get on Bullet Soul, whether you want to play anything that's called Don't Don Pachi, whatever, anything that we as Americans didn't get on the 360 when Cave was releasing stuff, the majority of it is on Steam and more stuff is coming. It's like the shmup ain't going nowhere and because like I said, I, I am waiting for the day where I get to make a video and I get to turn and turn to the internet and say um M2 is going to release Batrider on something so that you get to watch live as my brain hits the ceiling and explode because that's how important that game is to me. That before we get to talking about more about the game that M2 is doing, I just want to update y'all real quick and just let y'all know what's really up. Dangon Fever Run just dropped in America about a week and a half ago. If you ain't got it, you need to get it. 35 bucks for Dagon Fever on or Fever SOS in their hood near you. It's a great shmup and it's worth every last penny. Dagon Fever on is, is a recent favorite of mine because I, I, I've watched a whole bunch of It's like at one point, I was watching a whole lot of super plays of games because I wanted to understand properly how to play the game before I played the game. The thing is, with the way M2 killing it with the shot triggers, you really don't necessarily need to do that because all the M2 gadgets sit up here and give you a visual way to understand how the game works, why it does, and M2 always kill it with the remix joints. I'm like, we got Ketsui up next and I don't really know what M2 can really do with Ketsui that Cave hasn't already. And if you want to play Ketsui, my suggestion is pick up the PS3 version so you can get your Ketsui on if that's what you want to do. It's been a minute. But uh, Maho Dasakusen has been on Japanese PS4 for months now. So if you got 4,000 yen, you can get in on, on, on a great shooter like that. But who knows when it's coming out in America. And that is my only problem with the M2 Shot Trigger series as of right now. That these games are not given parity. Dagon Fever Run took a whole year to come out. Just about a whole year. Because if I'm not mistaken, April 28th of last year is when it came out on the PS4. Took a whole year to hit the revolve. That's crazy. That's crazy if you're trying to get your if you're trying to get your shmup on with 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 some with some some god with with M2 on the beat on the beat dog godlike. You hear me? Godlike. Like Battle Gurega on PS4 is one of the greatest ports I have ever played of anything. That's how good it is. I played a little bit of Dagon Fever on the PS4, much the same. I'm trying to get my yin game up, and I'm trying to, I'm, I'm like, at this point, it's like, I done waited this long, I can wait for uh, my whole decisive can to go on sale, and then get it, and then tell y'all it's amazing, and then rebuy it again. Because I don't mind double, triple, quadruple dipping for a company that I appreciate that does things that I appreciate as a fan. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, Mononoke Nimpocho is another thing of, 
I appreciate what M2 is doing when you taking 30 year old documents and you want to make a video game of it and then release it in arcades. That is not only insane, but it is magically lovingly amazing. I'm like, I am with everything this game wants to do. Nice, busty ninja girl, ninja girl's friend, evil girl. So this is not so in Sasuke with boobs, except will there be Rasengan's and Chidori's? We're not really sure, and we don't really discuss that here, and we shouldn't discuss Naruto ever, unless we're talking about Gekito Ninja Tizen 4. But we're we, we going to play that on the channel soon. Me and Jay still got to play a whole bunch of more, a whole bunch of more Clash of Ninja before we can get to the real crack. We're going to do that. But... We didn't play, we didn't play, um, we didn't play Geeky Tone Ninja Tizen Special. So, that's on the channel, you know what I'm saying? I think that video was called, what, um, Original, Original Boruto Christmas Carol 2, not still. So, if you guys want to watch a throwback, knock yourself crazy. I think this is amazing that this is going to happen. And I really want this to get ported to something because for real. I live in the United States, and I know for a fact this ain't going to be on nothing. I'm going to be able to play so and so. Like, if they want to release it on PS4, Bone, a phone or something, you should do that. And speaking of phones, um, play Akano Blue. That's a wonderful game. Give them money. But it's supposed to be coming out in arcades at some point. So, you know, they'll be able to get more money. But, yeah, go play Akano Blue on a phone. Do that. I'm just like, yo. Why wow, they talking about the Japanese shooting project to bring back 2D shoot 'em up games? It's like I said earlier at the beginning of this, like yo, you can go on Steam and bump in the shooting <laughs> and bump in the shoot 'em ups, dog. You can just sit up and bump into the wall, shoot 'em up. They got shoot 'em ups of all kinds. They got shoot 'em ups of your normal variety. They got them of your your hentai variety and every and every flow in between. And more stuff coming out. Like, I was looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was looking. Because just so that you know, because you know more of I'm trying to just put these things out there. Is, um, um Game Cruise and Oten Goku, that game should be coming out in America any day now. And I'm just sitting up here waiting on that. Um, next, next Friday, um... Finally, the Senko no Ronde Duo Limited Edition is going to be a limited run game. So, if you want to support a great game, I suggest you put some money down for that. Definitely know I'm going to be there. I'll be right there to because I have been waiting to play Senko no Ronde Duo. I ain't bought the digital version because I wanted a physical version. Because that's how important it was to me. My thing is, is that I've said this before. I said this in the, in the super art type review. I've said this in various various videos where I talk about my love of this genre of video game that I'm not really that good at it. But I enjoy the hell out of them. I do. I would like to play Moochie Moochie Pork for you guys. And I really think that instead of just saying I'm going to do a thing, I'm just going to hook up a 360 and I'm going to do the thing. Makes sense as a plan to me. I have been weirdly, you know, doing stuff all day trying to prepare projects and stuff. So, like I say, this is going to be an interesting thing because I'm like, I'm going to link the trailer in the description of this video. And I'm not going to activate it because I think it's a thing you guys should watch. Because I really think that me sitting up here doing what I normally do is not really going to do it justice. Like, they trying to bring, like, throwback sprites back. And if anybody can, the gods that M2 can, I really wish they would. I really wish the 3DS wasn't in this situation that is in. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But I wanted them to release more, um, more 3D, Sega 3D classics. I'm like, Comic Zone would have been dumb. Like, the game is, is short as all hell. But I would have loved to play that game in 3D. They would have had to get to Burn Uncle 3 at some point. And you know me and Jay turned the corner on that game, so hooray for us. I'm just like, yo. This is going to be a fun thing. And 
I, I just hope that see, we can have some fun with it. I'm like, I'm sitting up here scrolling through this, this Silicon Era article about this game, and it's just, this game looks amazing. Like, for, for 2D stuff, for someone like me who appreciates this kind of thing, this looks amazeballs. Amazing. I, I want to play this. Not only to support a company that does what I love, but because I love the genre equally, and it just it's just the chicken wings and nacho cheese of just love, you know? The chicken wings and nacho cheese of love. I couldn't do it any better myself. Look here in it, man. Like I say, this has been this has been your shmup update. Um go play a shmup. Like go pick one. You'll go bump into one. Um like pick a pick a shmup and just go. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanna play some uh, oh D is gorgeous though. But there's a thing with that. And the thing is is that if you really want to experience the full game, be prepared to spend some money because Konami was on one at the time. They still on one now, but at least Super Bomberman R is coming out on a system not the Switch. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Um randomly because I thought of this I just need to just I just want to put this out in the ether just for me. There is one thing I need somebody to do for me, right? Somebody tell somebody over at Sega, I need Dynamite Decker as a PS2 classic. I do. I don't know why I picked this video to open my mouth and say that, but this is me saying that. Like, I, I, I'm just like, this, this amazes me. That I am sitting up here looking at this and it's like, for, for, uh, because it's like, look, because it's like, I'm going to link the Silicon Era article in this too. Because when you look at this game, it's period appropriate for what a game would look like back in 88, 89. And that is insane to think about. That this, because it's like, there are a lot of games that, what's the word I'm looking for? They try to emulate like NES games or emulate the moment and when they would have been released, but but because they step a little bit too far, that it invokes it, but it's not as real as it could be. This is as real as it could be. This don't look like something that's made in 2018. This looks like they made something in 1988. And M2, like, yo, they released the remix. A fantasy zone for God's sakes. So they can do anything. Now that's gangster. Now that's gangster. But look, yo, like I said, um, please, if you get a chance, check out what's really good with, with Mononoke Nempo Show. Um Buy Battle Gurega and Dangon Fever on on PS4, Xbox One. Go to Steam and just pick a random schmup and play it. My recommendation, and I'm going to say this, would be Blue Revolver. I have had some amazing fun playing Blue Revolver and sucking at it. And that's how you know the men of a good game. It's like, I'm getting better at playing it when I do play some Blue Revolver. But if I suggest a, a shmup on Steam to play, Blue Revolver is the one. And it's like, and they got more stuff coming out. So it's a perfect time to get into playing Blue Revolver. Get on your phone, play some Akino Blue, pimping. Do that. Just go have a fun with a schmup. You know what I mean? Just go have fun with a schmup, dog. Y'all go ahead and get up out of here, man. Yo, scat skittles go bob, dog. As far as I know, the news is over. That don't mean that I'm done. But the news is over for now. So don't get up out of here, man. Go play a schmup, damn it. Go play you a shmup on something. Go play you a shmup on something. Report back to me and tell me what you play. I don't care what it is. Like, go play Thunder Force 3. Like, that game's amazing. That is one of the best Sega Genesis games in the damn business. I am going to play some Thunder Force 3. 
Well, actually, no. I'm actually finna pull out. I'm finna pull out a Sega Saturn. And I'm finna play Thunder Force AC. I'm finna remix it on y'all ass. You hear me? I'm gonna remix it on. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you gonna play Thunder Force AC, the Saturn is the best way to play that game. Better than the arcade version. Just pushing it out there. Just things. I'm like. I want to play Gradius right now. Gradius 5, actually. Like, I want to play Gradius 5. No, no. I actually want to play Salamander 2. I'm actually looking at the device in which I can play Salamander 2 on, and that's a PSP. You should buy the Salamander collection on PSP. I know it's insanely... Actually, you know what? This is our random get-on-the-internet thing. That we're going to do. We're going to go to eBay. Put in Salamander PSP. And we're going to see how much a copy of the Salamander. Uh, of Salamander Portable costs right now. Um, you got it about 70. If you will. About 80 bucks. About 80 bucks. Like, that's the cheapest it is on here. Like, is this a complete version of the game? This manual? A whole nina. Yeah, 80 bucks. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, let me see. Let me see what Parodi is portable. Let me see what Parodi is portable hitting for. Because I know Parodi's portable is hella expensive. Like, hella expensive. Like, when I tried to buy, like, it was not a fun time. So, about 80 bucks. 80 bucks at your low minimum. And when you get insane, you know, it gets insane. Oh, yeah, there is a Twin B portable. I just remembered that. There is a Twin B portable. Hmm. Twin B portable, that's hitting, that's hitting on some hit, though, right there. Oh, wow. You can get it for like anywhere between 60 and 80 bucks. Not bad. And I'm like, you got the Grady. You got Gradius. You know what I'm saying? You got you got Gradius. That, that's the only one. That's the only one that came with the, the, the greatest collection. Is the only one that came out in America. Why? When they could have released Salamander if they felt like it? I don't know. Um, I'm going to check something completely unrelated and I'm going to let y'all freak. What you want? What you want, phone? Uh-huh, that's nice. Let me see. Let me see. I want to see, because I keep up with this game every now and then, just to see if I can find me a copy at a decent price. Okay, 140 And for the record, the game I'm talking about is the SNK Arcade Collection. Um, SNK Arcade Collection, Collection Zero. And they got oh this is yeah one hundred forty dollars it's fully complete. There, I heard that was a Korean, a, a Asian Korean version, but I've never seen it before, so I can't comment on whether that actually exists. Ah, Darius Burst. I'm like that game is a treat too. You can get that on Steam. You know what I'm saying? If you can find a physical copy of Darius Burst on PS4, that's how I suggest you do it because they got all the, it got all the DLC on it. So you don't have to spend two arm um, the leg and some crack rocks for some PSP. Um, Trouble Witch's Origin, that's on Steam. They got a whole lot of DLC, but a great game. I really got to take you guys through the 360 version. That's something. That's something I really want to do. Like I, I'm like I'm. And one thing that I'm glad of is that even though those things happen, that the 360 still work, and I still have a and I still enable to show off trouble with trouble with this knee up with you guys. So I might just have to sit down and just do that. You know what I'm saying? But yo, I done held y'all long enough, man. Hey, I want to thank y'all for joining me for what I just called what I just made up in my head the Schmuck Report, featuring Mona Mona No K Nimpo Show and all the things you should be playing. So. Go play you a schmuck, report back to me, tell me what it is, and I would appreciate that. Just show that y'all listening, you know what I'm saying? Show that you're listening and stuff. Um, It's some other stuff I want to do since I see that I have the time to do it. But we're going to turn this into a video for now. So y'all go on here and get up out of here, man. You know what it is. The one in the alley. The triple, the G. Oh.
day. And I'd like to thank all of you for joining me for another installment of Triple the Guy Speak Zone. And with that being said, I'll have you guys next time, man. Peace out. <laughs>